Today we're making two thrift flip Halloween signs. Keep watching. All right, I'm going to start off with two long, narrow picture frames that I got from the thrift store. I believe it was Goodwill. I've already taken out the backing and wrapped that with some black and white uh, wrapping paper that I had and just taped it. Taped it down. Now I'm just going to clean up the back just a little bit, tear off all that extra paper that was already on there, and start using my pliers to pull out all those little metal pieces that hold the glass in place. All right, so when you see on the other side, this is a faux wood. And I'm gonna take this Rust-Oleum chalked paint and a linen white and give it three coats each. All right, so we have materials for two signs and we are going to start off with these little bottle, I guess they're little bottle labels that you can get. They originally came from Target, and so did the, the chipboard stickers. So on one side, they have a little, like a sticker, peel and stick thing. I just went ahead and cut that off. And I'm gonna use my double stick tape to place these down. By the way, I got all of these from Dirt Cheap for maybe 40, 50% off. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that down in the center and I'm going to start figuring out what the placement should be for my stickers. And these particular ones have glitter, but the Hocus Pocus are just a solid matte white. So I'm just gonna use a ruler. If you put these down lightly, just lay them on the paper, you can move them around. But once you stick them down, they are not coming off without tearing the paper. So just a little warning, use a very light hand with this. If you don't have these, you can use um, stickers that you can get from Dollar Tree or any other store. You probably have something that would work already in your stash. And certainly you can make a, use construction paper or a, um, some white paper to just make some type of a layover to put on your frame if you wanted to. If that's all you got. All right, I wanted to change the placement up just a little bit on my letters there. And there's my cute little pumpkin. And now I know this is where I want them to stay. I'm going to press them down. Now they're permanent. Okay, moving on to the next, same thing. I'm gonna cut off that little sticky strip. You don't need that. I'm gonna use my double stick tape and just put a few pieces down to stick it on here. By the way, that double stick tape is permanent. You have to be careful, they are so sticky and they are stuck down so well that you will, on occasion, maybe break these. I've certainly cracked a few and I have broken some on a different project. But the good news is you can glue them back together. You can make them work. So, I'm just going to move these down a little bit. And there you go, Hocus Pocus. Again, if you're not sure of your placement, just lay them on first gently, and then you can move things around. But if you press them down, they're not gonna come up. These little hats came from Dollar Tree. Okay, so now I want to embellish this and give it some finishing touches, and I have these from back in the scrapbooking days. They're just little pieces of glittery, I guess, trim. And I really like them a lot. I thought they, they look really good for Halloween, and they look nice for the, the content, for the Hocus Pocus and the Trick or Treat. Gives it a little bit of whimsy. So you just put your stickers on there any way you want. If you don't have these stickers, you can use a marker or a pen 
and just draw them freehand on your own. And you could certainly skip this step if you wanted to, to just leave it like it was. I have so much left out of my scrapbook stuff that I have had for so many years that it is nice to be able to use it finally. I mean, all the stuff that I bought was stuff that I liked anyway, so it's good to put it to use finally. So if you have some old stuff, drag it out, get out the old art set, and use it. Save yourself a lot of money. And you'll be using the items that you loved enough to purchase in the first place. Okay, so now everything is where I want it to be. I'm just gonna press it all down good. Here are my frames. They are white now. I painted these sides, the inside rim, and the tops. But I wasn't too concerned about the back because it's gonna be against the wall. So I'm just going to seat this down in here and make sure that I have a good fit and it fits nicely. No need to use the glass. We're just gonna put that aside for whatever else we might need it for. I'm gonna take some hot glue. It is the Gorilla Glue, so it gives a more permanent bond. And I'm just going to put that down in each corner. You don't want to put too much because then when you put your picture down, it will squish out and make a little ugly bleb on the front. And we want this to look nice. So we're going to turn it over and snug it back down in there. Just press it down gently. Again, you don't want to squish anything out. You want it to look nice and finished. I think maybe someone had used these frames for a DIY of their own because that gold over there did not match the white backing that was on the other frame. But you know, you can use whatever. And if you find the frames at a thrift store and they don't have backing, it's easy to make a backing with um, pieces of cardboard, maybe an old box that you have or some of that foam board that you can get from Dollar Tree works really well as well. All right, and so since this hanger was on the short side and I'm not going to be using it like that, I'm going to have to make some means to hang it on the wall. So this is an easy process. You're gonna decide whether you wanna do it in the middle or on the sides, and I've chosen to do it on the sides. So I am cutting my pipe cleaner into four pieces. I'm just going to make a little hairpin shape Put that on the side and low enough down that you can't see it when it's on the wall. I'm gonna put down some glue, then the little pipe cleaner. There's my little spatula. It's silicone, so it works really nicely. And then I'm gonna put a piece of just extra cardboard that I had around and put that down on there. That's gonna help hold it in place. You're gonna do the same thing to the other one. Be sure that you put it down under the edge if you don't want that showing. And I certainly do not want that showing. I want it flush on my wall. Just reloading that glue gun. And that is all you have to do. See there? Then you just put your little pins or hangers or nails in the wall and you can just turn them around and hang them up. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, so here's our finished gorgeous farmhouse Halloween pictures. What do you think? You like these? I love them. Yep, I cannot wait to take my Halloween things out and put them on the wall. I cannot wait. I'll be doing an unboxing of my Halloween decor soon, so you guys subscribe and stick around to watch that. Give me a like on this video if you're digging this farmhouse style, and I hope to see you again very soon. Bye!